Hello everybody, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal from EdTech.tv. Um, today, as always, I'm going to start off with a kind of important question, which is, is typing a relic of a bygone era? Um, there's a lot of argument going on with uh, vocal recognition and voice recognition things right now. The quality of Siri is getting better and better on the iPhone. Uh, but I would argue that most people probably aren't going to want to do all their work with a spoken word and uh, be really distracting in a coffee shop, a classroom, or an office if everybody's just talking into their computers all the time. So for that simple reason, although we could get into it a lot more, I'm going to say that typing is more important now than ever. Um, and so, of course, we're trying to teach our students how to type and how to be better typists. It's a really important skill, and uh, we're going to look today at one resource that will help us get uh, our students improving their typing skills. There are quite a lot of resources out there for this, and uh, you know these even existed on computers when I was a kid. I mean, this is one of the original skills, but today we're just going to look at one, mostly because it has a really cool back end from the teacher's side, uh, and that is going to be Typing Club. So we're going to take a look today at Typing Club and see what it can do to help you improve your students' typing skills. When your student goes to typingclub.com, they can immediately get started with the Get Started button. No sign-ins, no nothing needed, it just gets you right into the uh, lessons. And it'll start you off with uh, lesson number one, keys J and F. And you click on it and it's really got some pretty good clear tutorials. So it tells you, hey, there's a bump on F and J, there's a reason for that. As you move forward, it tells you, you know, to feel them and then to get right into practicing it. So then all they do is they can actually see right here on the screen which finger they're supposed to use. And you tap it and you get J, J, F, F, etc. all the way down the line. Then at the end it gives you a score and your uh, speed, your accuracy and how long it took you and you keep on moving right into the next one. Now, if we look at the menu, you can see that it gives you all of these different skills that it's working on. So it starts off with uh, J and F, and then it goes on and, and kind of grows out lesson by lesson. There's a hundred different lessons here for typing. Um, goes into vowels and everything like that. Now let's just move forward just so you can kind of see all the practice zones, all the numbers that it gets into. Then you, as you move on, it starts to tell you you're going for words per minute. So let's quickly look at a words per minute, uh, 30 words per minute goal. Now it will let you jump ahead. It will let your students jump ahead. So let's just go right ahead and do that. So then at the end, it tells me that my speed was 66 words per minute. So I'm sure some of you are much faster than that. I had 100% accuracy. Uh, that includes the backspacing, and I did it in 46 seconds. So, you know, not too bad. Uh, 6,629, obviously, it's going to depend differently on what level your students are at. But that's kind of how it looks from your student's side. By the way, if a student scrolls down, they can see a lot of cool statistics based on uh, different letters, what their accuracy was, how quickly they typed it. Now, I don't know that this is really going to help them to become better typists a lot, but it is interesting information. And, you know, if someone's having a problem area, they might want to look at that and see what's going on. And now we're going to jump into the teacher's side of things, and that's where it gets pretty cool for us. Now, as a teacher, I've already created an account. Uh, just for us today but what you're going to do is you're going to log in uh, to what your school's login is I got the URL edtechtv.typingclub.com it's pretty cool it lets you set up your own class name or whatever you want so I'm going to log in directly using that information you can also create your own account
And this is where it gets to be pretty interesting for teachers. Now, earlier today, I just practiced around a little bit in this uh, custom account for EdTech TV. Uh, but you can add a bunch of students by going to students. And you can add students either individually. You can put in their name, their email, their username, password. You know, choose what grade they're in um, if it's applicable. Or you can also add many students um, and, uh, you know, take a look at how to do that. But I had one student. I also have a class here, my EdTech TV class. Um, the instructor is me. I'm going to keep this pretty short because most of it's pretty straightforward. But what you really want to play around with here is the dashboard. You can see, um, you know, who's been typing, who's been practicing. So I've got my student, Stuart Dent, who's uh, made three attempts. And I can take a look at what uh, Stuart's been doing here. He's got five stars, 100% accuracy. Uh, just as a kind of side note, that was me just practicing and playing it out. But uh, you can also take a look when you go to classes and you click on your own class. It's got some pretty cool statistics in here, too. I can see who's enrolled. I can see who the instructor is. Um, I can edit the class. And when you set up your own class, it'll let you do this, too. But you can choose to give yourself notes, a lot of information. Um, whether the scoreboard is visible, instant feedback, you know, a lot of stuff for the students that's really maybe useful for them. So uh, play around in here because there's some really cool stuff in the back end. And for you as a teacher, this can be super valuable. Then at the end of the week or the day or whatever, you can create reports. And you can even click on this fun little one that says scoreboard. So obviously, like I said, I've only got the one student here. Um, but I could kind of compare different students if I wanted to and play around a lot with, uh, with all the different statistics that it's recording as my students are going through. I can also see, you know, hey, maybe a student hasn't done anything and I'll know whether they've logged in. I know whether they've been practicing their typing skills. So a lot of super useful stuff on that back end for us as teachers to watch our students monitor their progress and make sure that they're moving forward. Today I wanted to keep things short and sweet, so your homework is going to be pretty straightforward. Number one, create a teacher's account at typingclub.com. Uh, I don't really think you need it, but practice a few rounds of typing and see what it's like because you might be surprised that uh, some of the easier lessons, the supposedly easier lessons, are actually a little harder once you're actually a, a, a real typist and a good typist like we probably are. And finally, just for fun, uh, tell me if you beat my words per minute of 66. Uh, I bet some of you did. And uh, let me know. As always, you can let me know at EdTechPrincipal on Twitter, on YouTube also at EdTechPrincipal, and then on Facebook at EdTechTV. Uh, I am really looking forward to hearing from you guys. If you found this video useful or if you find any of my videos useful, please go ahead and click on the thumbs up button and uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And, you know, I'm all around, so I want to hear from you and uh, I will talk to you pretty soon.